Hello. This is a tutorial on solving linear programming problems using Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we are taking a sample problem, which is indicated in here, with all the appropriate matrices and vectors of the same problem below at the green box identified. The matrix A, the coefficients of the constraints, the row vector C, coefficient of the objective function values, and column vector B, which is for the right-hand side. So for this problem, we are going to be setting up the necessary information to run the Microsoft Excel solver. Solver is an add-in to the uh, Excel. As you are watching the information, you will notice that I have pretty much copied the same original problem into the left-hand side. The blue areas are the areas that I will be using for my calculations. The calculations will be conducted by using the values of xj's multiplied by the proper coefficient. The first one that we are going to set up is calculation for the z value. And of course, the values of the coefficient of the objective function by the values of the x's. Notice that in here I am using a simple multiplication between the numbers, the cells, and so on. In later calculation, I show you a different way of doing this calculation, but, but in any case, the value of z is calculated at zero, of course, because all the x's initially are set to the zero level. The calculation, similar calculations for the, each one of the constraints. And to do that, we, this time we are going to use a function. That function is some product function, which would allow us to enter two separate arrays and multiply them uh, together, find the product of, the, of those two arrays. And in this case, that is uh, the arrays that we are going to be using are, as you see, identified the array for the x values and the coefficient on the on the first constraint. Note that when we look at the when we look at the calculations, when we look at the calculations. The part that is going to identify where x1 and x2 and x3 are, that array, is a fixed array. So we need to fix that as we are going to copy the same formula for um, this cell to the lower cells. And we fix that by placing a dollar sign in front of the cell name and number. Then we drag the information, then we drag that cell down, and we will repeat the similar calculations for that. Now we are going to go to Data and click on Solver. As you click on Solver, you will get a window open in which 
you are going to fill out a number of information. The first one, of course, is where the value of the Z is, and you just click on that, and it will place it there. The next line says whether it's a maximization or minimization. In this case, it's maximization. Now we are going to identify where the variables are, and we are just going to block the the array that is going to represent that. Then we are going to go to the individual constraints. And for each constraint, we would repeat this process. We would add that to the list. We will identify the total value of that constraints, the sign in there, and the right hand side value and then we say add we will add that to the problem we will repeat that for all three constraints that we have in this sample problem and we notice that on the last constraint for example the the sign of the constraint is greater than or equal we just simply change the sign of the constraint in the um, in its location Next, we will mark, make the unconstrained variables non-negative, non which would allow us to use xijs greater than xi, xjs greater than or equal to zero. However, we can actually add that to the problem, and in this case, we are going to add that set of constraints to the problem simply by adding that I will notice that you have now the values of that in your problem. Another change that we need to do is to pick up the simplex LP and uh, we are now ready to uh, solve the problem. Notice that in our problem we have um, the standard worksheets that are there as we press OK or we are going to go to another one which is identifying the solver results and at that point we will pick up the answers. Now you notice that there is an additional worksheet added to the problem which has the values of the solution and you, you notice that the optimal solution is given as x13.2, x20 and x3 as 11.6 with the z value of 56. Now if we go to the uh, to the regular worksheet we will see that the same values are also identified in that problem the same values of the optimal solution and that's how you solve a linear programming using Excel That's it.